That just reminds me um, just of this article I read. I, I like following tennis, and this is many years ago. Um, um, Rafael Nadal was like in the finals of some huge tournament, and he had won the semifinal match, obviously. And I guess one of the things he does, maybe every tennis player does this, is they watch a video of the match to sort of see you know, what worked, what didn't work. And he and his coach decided or realized that if he held the racket in a slightly different way, he could get more power in his serve. And he held the racket in this revised grip for the final and won. Um, but that's just sort of like a superhuman. That's basically like before your Carnegie Hall debut the night before deciding to change your bow grip and doing it on stage. Wow. I think that is extreme, and that's a risk that I guess some superhuman people can do, like Nadal. But I think for us mere mortals, it's more realistic to sort of like dip our toe in 30 minutes a day. Um, and gradually acclimate to this new way of, of playing the instrument. Possibly recording that new technique as you're learning. And I think documenting that process, I think for me is very important because it might feel very comfortable or awkward or whatever, but how you feel might be completely different from what it sounds like. And for me, if I don't record myself, I think I do it every day at this point, whether it sounds good or bad, even if it's in the very beginning, sort of at the end of the day, I like to sort of hear what I sound like. And it's very, very revealing. And sometimes you feel like you're going in one direction, but you're going the exact opposite. So I think it's it's important to reassess uh, very, very often. So you're not going toward a goal that is um, fictitious. Absolutely. Wow. I was literally just about to, like, to say that jumping on the with the fact that he found that out by actually watching himself play and not actually feeling it. It can be hard, I think, at the beginning to like to record yourself. Obviously, it's very like you see kind of everything out there. <laughs> like you have to be ready to, uh, to, to do it. But I think the more, obviously, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. From age probably 10 to 17, I studied with um, a, an old French lady who is no longer alive. Her name was Michelle Eau Claire, and she was uh, she was a tyrant, and she used to scream at me when I came unprepared. She is that why you're able to say that? Out. Because she's no longer alive, so she can't get to chase after you. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, she 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 got results through fear, uh, instilling fear. Uh, she retired, and I started studying with Donald Weilerstein who, as anyone who has ever met him or has studied with him, knows he does not teach through fear. He didn't scream at me when I wasn't prepared, and he didn't really, you know, scold me or, or shame me when I played, when I made mistakes or anything like that. At first, that kind of made me nervous because I didn't have to generate any of my own will. It was just fear that got me to practice. Whereas I realized after a few lessons that, you know, if I didn't sort of prepare, well, there wasn't gonna be any, like, you know, payback at, at lesson time. It was just gonna be, which is a wasted lesson. And that kind of made me realize that all the practicing had to be self-motivated. That, I think, was a very important step for me because, you know, when you're out in the world, well, someone might scream at you, but most likely they won't scream at you, they just may not ask you to play with them again if you're unprepared. I think that's an important step to sort of get away from external motivators. Of course, having a concert not wanting to mess up or having an audition not wanting to mess up is an external motivator of some sort. The core desire to practice and improve, I think, has to come from within. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making these slight changes. I mean, some things will yield an audible difference, hopefully for, every, for all listeners, but some of these things, it's just for my own personal satisfaction. Yeah, and but that totally like, like, you know, generates the no cycle, balls. right? That's yeah. no, of course. And that, that spirit of like wanting to always improve and find something new, that, that will yield in the long run, you know, tangible results. Um, and I think that, that sort of self-driven um, work true is important. True musician spirit.